style icon. We love to see it. But um, hmm, I didn't see on the flyer where it said bring your Hey guys, it's Naya and Naya, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel, The Tea. Ah, and y'all already know I'm gonna do my makeup. Before we begin, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get scouted. <laughs> I got this new foundation. I'm about to try it. It's the Maybelline New York 24 Hour Foundation in Mocha. I've been sleeping this whole time. Okay, so let me tell y'all. So, I was filming a different story before all of this, right? Like, I was filming for a good, like, 20 minutes. And I'm like, wait a second, because I had to reference the stories I'm about to tell y'all, right? So, I'm like, hold on. Should I film that story time instead? So, middle of the video. Like, I just stopped telling that story and i started telling this story so i like the little clips y'all just seen before that i still just wanted to show y'all me using that foundation though because the new foundation that i seen and i just wanted to show y'all that i was using a new foundation because i know a lot of like girls be wondering about what kind of makeup i use but yeah with that being said now on to the story I thought we had a party and then it got shot up. We're gonna tell that story time today. So basically, the day was October 27, 2019. And that literally seems like it was literally like a month ago because this whole beginning of 2020 has just literally been like a blur. And we're just chilling out. Let me tell you, this whole day was crazy. Like, I don't know what was that. I don't know if it was a full moon or what. The night before, Sydney, you already know, one of my best friends, she came, spent the night. Do I like this makeup look? I'm so indecisive today, like the Libra in me is really poking out and I forgot to prime my eyes. Remember we were in the car, we are just riding around and then we go to Starbucks. We went to Starbucks, we got us some coffee because this whole day we knew we were going to this party, right? We were both feeling tired, I remember that. We were in the car on the way back to my house and it was raining, like mind you, it was like pouring raining out there. Uh, we're driving or whatever and then all of a sudden this car behind me is like speeding. It was like one of those Rams trucks. They're like the car version of the kid in class that act like they know everything but did i lie though and then all of a sudden he like swerves from behind me to the next lane so he's so he's in the next lane he zooms mind you still keep in mind it's pouring rain that's why like the four people in front of him were driving slower because it's pouring raining outside so he zooms past us hops in front of the car like three cars ahead of us he hops in front of that car but in our lane now he slammed on his brakes for whatever reason i don't know if the person in front of him had slammed on their brakes i don't know if there was a light right there i can't remember if there was a light right there or not the girl in front of the girl in front of me slammed on her brake the girl in front of me slammed on her brake and i slammed on my brakes everybody stopped like really close to each other but my car smacked but it's just like like you know it was enough for us to do like this so mind you i'm on my brakes right but you guys know if you drive you know the feeling of like when you're on your brakes but you're still sliding so like my car is braked but since it's raining outside it's wet my car like my tires are still sliding while this is happening me and sydney literally look at each other we're like we both like jerk in the car and we both just like i look at her i'm like are you okay like that was like my first instinct i see the other girl getting out of her car so i like take off my seatbelt i got out of the car and we look around or whatever and like nothing's there like literally nothing happened to her car there's like a small dent in the front of my car but that was it yeah that happened so then hey y'all need to keep the fact that it was raining like pouring raining all day keep that in the back of your mind okay we go home of course we tell our private stories what happened you know we're chilling we're just like vibing our room we just got the music playing whatever and then we start getting ready Something else that I thought I'd add is that no adult knew that that happened because my mom was out of town when it happened and we just didn't tell my dad. So, <laughs> if you want to see the video of me getting ready for the whole day, then go ahead and click one of the eyes. Um, <laughs> I'm so mad I got that cute. <laughs> We're all cute and ready. So then the plan was to meet up at our one friend's house. We're gonna call her Balenciaga. <laughs> so, and we all met there. It was like me, Sydney, and then it was like a whole bunch of other people. Like not a whole bunch, but it was like a car full of people. If you're in high school, if you just go to parties period, you probably have that one group of people that you only like spend time with at parties and like after parties and stuff like that. Yeah, so we were with them. And so we're all just, you know, chilling in Balenciaga's room. Mind you, the drive to Balenciaga, I'm not gonna tell y'all the context of this call and it's like the craziest news like it was just even more mind-blowing news like how 
why is everything crazy happening let me tell you that was like the craziest weekend of my life not weekend but it was definitely probably one of the most like craziest days of my life like top five so then we finally get to Balenciaga's house and we have to like obviously it's raining outside so we have to run inside so you know we're all in Balenciaga's room we're chilling oh, we're talking about this party now this party was being thrown by people we don't even go to school with like a whole bunch of people were throwing this party and it was like people that we knew of but we didn't go to school with and then like people we didn't know at all so then y'all know we don't arrive to party early so after like 30 minutes pass we're like okay yeah like we can go to the party we all hop in the car we go to the party mind you this party is like 35 40 minutes away and it's pouring raining so it's gonna take us like an hour to get there so we get there finally just to re <laughs> just to find out that this party was in some <laughs> just to find out that this party was in some townhouses what the fuck? No shade to you, but like really, like you throwing this big party, especially like where it was located. As many people that were posting it, we definitely thought the party was about to be in somebody's big old house. But no. Fuck that plan. <laughs> what the fuck is that plan? And there's nothing wrong with living in a townhouse. Cool. But you throwing this big old party in a townhouse really all I can think about is that one video that went viral on Twitter of like them partying it up and then boom the whole floor collapsed. As soon as we turn into this place we're all looking at each other in the car like is, is this the right address like question mark? But then to top that off it was one of the most confusing townhouses at that. They're all kind of inclusive I guess you can say. They're all so loopy and like twists and turns. So we get in there but of course we have to drive around and look for the house. And then on the flyer the like the number of the townhouse wasn't on there. That's also why we thought it was in a regular house because like there was no oh apartment number la la. Basically we're just looking for a big group of people to like indicate to us where the party is at. After a couple minutes we run into people that we know. We're like oh hey like what house is it? and they're parked like in this one space like parked in out of the car getting ready to walk like oh the house is right over there so I'm like oh okay back go park in this like kind of close area but mind you everything seems so far because it's raining outside some pep in our stuff i'm actually moving because i have on lashes and my hair is in like a pretty like, like my hair was in the cutest bun and i'm like i didn't want to mess it up we're walking we're walking we get all the way to where the boy was they're not there in the house they were like the direction they're pointing to we don't see a house we don't see no lights we don't see no big group of people so we keep walking in the direction and tell me why literally five minutes later five minutes is a long time to be walking in the dark while it's like <laughs> we approach this house so just imagine there's like all the townhouses lined up or whatever they're all dark and then there's one lit up and then in this one the garage is open and there's like a row like when i say eight boys standing in a row with their like arms crossed just so they can look cool enough to be security or something i don't know bro oh and y'all y'all probably wondering like didn't you just have a bubble ponytail yeah that was over the first day it happened because that was not about to say my head. So literally all I did was take the hair, take the rubber out and wrap it around. We walk up to them. I remember correctly, they didn't even say anything. Like, hold on. I don't know why I just put setting spray on. No, I'm finna take this off. I remember correctly, they didn't even say anything to us. They were just looking dumb. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. should I do a wing? I look you wanna do a wing. Yeah, so we walk in the party. Como si dice, pretty ghetto. And we were just standing there looking at the people. Like, mind you, this is like the main floor, I'm guessing. One of them was like, oh, the party's downstairs. So we're like, okay. We walk downstairs. <laughs> I wish I could insert footage so bad. So we walk down there, and mind you, it's six of us. That was the fastest I ever did wings in my life. We're walking down the stairs, and literally, we look to the right, we see that it's a little bland over there. You know, it's a little dark over there, a little dim. There's music playing, lights going, but it's just, you know, but it's packed. I will give them that, it was pretty packed. So we turn to the left, <laughs> and no shade, no tea to these people. And there's literally like a flash, iPhone flash, pointing all in one direction. So we look in that direction to the left, there's literally girls throwing it back, like they're just throwing it like it was like a whole it was like six of them just 
all giving us a little show over there okay cool like it's cool you're chill whatever really what did it for me and i feel like what did it for my whole group of people was the fact that they were all in like ethicas the race is like an underwear line so yeah they were all in those style icon we love to see it but um hmm, i didn't see on the flyer where it said bring your ethies i mean maybe i got a different flyer maybe we all got a different flyer you know no literally like i'm not even gonna cap to y'all we were all taken aback like we were all like 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 it just can't be happening so we already when we saw that we knew we were like okay yeah this isn't gonna last a long time and there's nothing wrong with like twerking at parties or, like throwing it back at parties like i've done it but not to that extent like to have it on underwear so don't take it the wrong way but yeah after we seen that we were just standing in our own little corner i remember this boy this a boy literally came up to me and was like you're gonna get out there and i looked at him and i was like are you dumb And we're just like, yeah, let's leave. So as we're leaving, we hear a baby crying. So we turn. Why did this girl bring, you know how like in high school you get like those babies that you have to take care of? She brought that to the party and it was crying. And <laughs> when I tell you, I looked, I was like, she got a baby. Like I was so loud. I was like, she brought a baby. Definitely thought it was a real baby at first. Cause I was like, there's no way she brought the baby. And at this point when we had walked upstairs, the whole upstairs was packed too. And so we were like leaving and like to get through the townhouse, like to get into the house, we had to like go through the garage and there are people in the garage. And we had stopped in the garage and we were just talking or whatever. And he's like, Oh, if you gonna leave, leave, la la la. Like, if you leave him, just know you can't come back. And I was like, boy, nobody trying to come back to this. Like, what? You only got a little show in the corner, and that's about it. Your party is not hidden. I'm trying to see if I can finesse my way into having this lash on. Does that look like it's on to y'all? Oh man. And then after that, of course, we left for sure because we're like. We're not about to like, boy, you're doing too much. So we love, we go to eat, we find somewhere to eat. We're eating and literally Balenciaga is on her phone. She's like, oh, that party just got shot up. And we like, and mind y'all, we literally had just left the party. It was like the scene in the show or like the movie where like all the kids, like something crazy just happened. And all the kids are like sitting there like with their mouths open and they're just in silence. And then like you got the music playing in the background. That's not funny. Like I'm not laughing because of that. I'm just laughing thinking back on it. Cause it's just like, dang, we all really could have died. Nobody died from the party. Like it was just one of those like, I'm gonna shoot to scare people, I guess, type of situation. It was still like, you know, you never know what could happen. The same one. I'm actually happy boy said that to me because honestly, if he didn't say that to me, then we would have never like been like, uh, like you know, let's leave. Hmm? I'm too sorry for the slight clickbait. Really, I didn't clickbait y'all. I just said the party I showed up, which it did. So technically, I didn't clickbait y'all, but I mean, y'all can't lie. This is still like a good story. Back to the video. And then we just hung out, went on with our night, and that was it. So yeah, you guys, this is the makeup. You know, kind of rough, whatever. I'm gonna take this lash right on off but yeah that's it for this story time if y'all enjoy and want more story times make sure to give this video a thumbs make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below and also if you can comment down below like what other suggestions you have for me to tell a story about if i have a story for it make sure to follow my social media shop my merch and my clothing brand down below and i will catch y'all in my next video bye period boy always walking in here like he knows something